Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video we will talk about the new power solar panel 200 watt and it does come either with this MPPT charger up to 20 amps or depending on the package you can get one of the PWN chargers. It's up to you but I got this package and I want to show you what it can do and what it's capable of because I feel like it's a pretty nice setup. So I'll set it up We'll see how much power we can draw out of this. And then we'll talk about what you could possibly do with it. Because I have a camping trip planned and I'll take it there. But first of all, let's talk about the dimensions here. So you can see them. Because uh, almost everything does fit in this little pouch up there. And speaking about this pouch, when you open it, it does come with an XT. 60 connector already and this XT60 connector just folds in in here which is really nice and easy and it's a waterproof pouch actually so the zipper here is waterproof and additionally you have not only this MPPT charger and I did go ahead already and uh, got as always you remember all the videos this Anderson connector and uh, those 10 gauge wires actually they are yeah, they are 10 gauge wires. Um, I crimp them, connect them here to the battery outlet because that's the battery cable. And then I received, in this package from New Power, I received two of those XT60 um, connector cables. One is an extension cable and the other one is already crimped and you can just connect it here to the solar outlet. And also here with the MPPT charger, we can see there is a little temperature sensor. You can unplug it, plug it in, whatever you want. Um, that's pretty straightforward. It's nice that you have such a long wire, actually, and you can use it. So the setup will be fairly easy. What we'll do first, I'll grab a battery, we'll connect it, and then we'll go from there. Okay, we'll be using the Go Kilowatt battery. Oh, there's a video. So we do have an Anderson connector over here, and we'll do it very, very easily, just laying this one on top. Just want to demonstrate how it works because whatever battery you have and in my case when i have those anderson connectors i can just connect them to a city battery box for example there's another video up there and then you can just easily pop it in so which means i'll plug it in and what we can see already there is a blue and a green light which indicates the green one battery seems to be connected in good state and that is a blue light and what I had to do before, I want to highlight that as well because I feel like it's something to mention. On the back side, you can see with a Phillips head screwdriver, you can just connect all those connections. There's no load, no, not anything like that, which you can connect. So keep that in mind. This is the, this is the MPPD charger up to 55 volts max. And batteries 12 and 24 volt up to 20 amps should work here. Then we can see here also the label. And it does have Bluetooth, by the way. The cool thing about it is we can track everything because of Bluetooth. So the app is called Solar Life BT. When I open it, this is how it looks like. And then there's a bunch of other stuff. We have to look for a Solar Life. Let's see. There it is, Solar Life. And here we can see that's actually a connection. Oh, yeah, that's actually the device. And we could go ahead, click on PV, and when it's continuously connected, we would see um, more information about it. That's all information we have here, actually, so there's not more. But our, oh, there it is, parameter settings, battery parameters. So here we could set up the battery what kind of battery is it? it is and Li Li that's a connection for lithium ion phosphate that's a battery we have so I let us run at the same time as we set it up and then we can see how much power we're actually drawing so let me try to set it up we'll go from there so you can see the sun is shining pretty good on it I did set it up you'll see the panels later in action from the front as well the wire Cable is long enough, which is pretty nice. We're actually charging with 162 watts, which is pretty nice. And we can see the temperature. 
which is in a crash because I didn't move the battery out. The wire is long enough. And now it would all be about um, the angle of the panels and see how much we can achieve. I've seen up to 180 watt one time, so it highly depends on the sun and everything else, how it is set up. Width we'll need 93 inches, which is uh, between seven, what is it? It's seven feet and nine inch. Seven feet and nine inch width. That's the space you will need when you set it up all the way. And still, you can see we're still pulling with 160 watts. All right, even for a foldable solar panel, I feel like this is pretty nice, 160 watts. Let me get it back and uh, we'll take a closer look on the panel side. Because putting it back together is easier than setting it up. You'll see why. Anyway, there are some information below here on the panel itself. It says the model, it's the NPA 200S 12 FD. Then we have the max power at STC 200 watt. Optimum operating voltage would be 20 volts. Optimum operating current would be 9.93 amps. And open circuit voltage is 24.20. Short circuit value, short circuit current is 10.41. Actually, I do like the, the quality of this entire panel. I have not spoken about this yet, but this feels pretty good. It's a gray, it's also nice. The green also sticks out pretty well. It's really nice. And then we have the panel itself opening up like this. So we also have those mounting points. If you want to hang it, for example, or even if you want to use some hooks and uh, or stakes, whatever you want to have or have. And then we have those panels, which are not flexible. They are really stiff, so it's really a side that they can still be bent a little bit but it's a very nice material it's it feels pretty well and then setting it up on all those sides a little more flexible but um, so far it went well we'll see in the long term how it will hold up um, because those sides are less strong than the middle part especially uh, when you have standing it in the sun in the heat a lot so something keep in mind and we'll see let me take the set um, completely off grid. We'll go camping. In this case, we'll go to Big Bear and I want to show you how that looks like. And here you can see actually not only panel, also the MPPD charger in action. And I'll show you in a second how much watts we were able to achieve here. Here's the setup on the campsite actually. We've been using it to recharge the city new chain battery box, which worked pretty well. And you can see with the extension cord we received in this package, we're able to just place it outside somewhere a little further away, wherever the battery source is, which is really nice. Just take a moment and look at it, this entire setup, which is really nice. We had it there for a couple hours and uh, now I want to show you again, this is blinking light. Um, on the MBPT charger which d indicates it is charging and let me show you also how much watt it is generating because as we saw earlier in the test we only achieved 160 watts and it actually is pretty much the same 160 watts here as well throughout the day um, of course it always depends on shade and whatnot on the sun I didn't achieve the 180 watts sadly but all, all in all, this is a really nice setup. It's easy to set up. It's foldable. It fits in any car usually pretty easy. And then it just depends on wherever you want to have it located. There are long wires. I believe it's two times six feet or more. Yeah, let me show you how I take it down here because that's <laughs> the simplest and quickest to be honest. Unplug it and then just fold it together and throw it back in your car or place it on the side in case you don't feel safe to leave it there. Everything is with Velcro um, connected and uh, the pouches are rainproof. I think the entire thing should be rainproof so it's not a problem when it's outside. It's a nice material. Um, yeah, Getting the dust off and then continue. Nice little thing you see. Now you've seen the new power foldable solar panel with included MPPT charge up to 20 amps. And let me give you my honest thought about this. This is a package which I was looking for because I only had so far those big in aluminum case or 
uh, fix solar panels, um, be it a 100 watt, be it now also having this bifacial solar panel from Ecoworthy with uh, 224 watts, so 195 plus 25 watt, I believe it was. And I don't regret to say that, but this foldable solar panel was able to achieve more power, more wattage than, <laughs> yeah, than the Ecoworthy, which is a bummer and really sad, to be honest, because it's bifacial and it's rated for more. So I've seen a solar panel when I used it the first time. I achieved 180 watts. I'm, I have to double check if it, maybe it just was the f first time, maybe it was the setup. I have to double check that, but uh, even 160 watts, it's pretty good, I feel like, for a foldable solar panel. It's not, of course, it's not the full capacity. You will never see the full capacity, what they rated for. Um, you need the ideal perfect situation and sunlight, angle, everything else. And then it, you might receive, but um, under, you know, in their labs, they will achieve that. Usually you can be happy when you have around 80% efficiency. And I feel like this solar panel really, really does a good and great job, which I enjoyed. So I feel like this is a panel including the MPPT charger, which I can highly recommend um, in case you want to have such a camping trip, you know, just set it up on your campsite and charge your batteries. Uh, amazing. I was able to pull more with this setup than with other setups. What's additionally really nice is you have a Bluetooth app, which you can use and you can monitor it if you want to. And there's always room to grow, which means 12 volt or 24 volt, both will be able to be used on the battery. So this MPT charger gives you a little flexibility, which I really like. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumb up. See you next time.